Hey all and welcome in to this video. Um, so today I'm drawing this dragon here. It was a bit of fun. It's an image that I found on pixabay.com of a dragon. Um, I wanted to get better at drawing kind of mythical creatures and that kind of thing. So it's something I want to focus on a little bit. Um, it's kind of a drawing a, a subject matter that i really am drawn to i kind of draw it all the time kind of a thing if i have nothing to draw i just like doodle some dragons or doodle some um kind of mythical creatures kind of a thing um so it's something i'm m mostly drawn to um and you would have seen a few weeks ago i did a in the last one of the last videos i did a 3d um, drawing and I chose dragon because yeah it, it's very simple to create there's no like it has to look that way kind of a thing I guess as well and yeah it's easier I've dealt with you know drawing them for a long time so drawing them in 3d wasn't much wasn't like a big challenge you know like trying to get it right trying to get all the features right um, so it's why I chose doing that um and it still is challenging to draw dragons especially when it's already depicted like this and also the posing and everything like that and because this is um kind of you know trying to get its body structure obviously right because you know with my dragons i don't think i'm correct with you know but its body structure you know its wings compared to its body shape and body size i think this this drawing's more accurate in terms of um if it can actually fly because of the size of the wings compared to the size of its body and it's probably more likely to fly than some of the dragons i've drawn in the past you know <laughs> um kind of like you know, in Shrek, that little, that dragon, he's, uh, I think, yeah, he's got pretty big wings, but, you know, um, if he had smaller wings, he wouldn't be able to fly, but I think, um, yeah, <laughs> but I think there's one drag, there were some dragons that, yeah, they've got tiny wings, and, you know, they have little scenes where they can't fly, and they try to fly, um, but yeah, you know, um, and also drawing things skinnier can be a bit of a challenge as well for me because, you know, I like kind of fit the whole shape in there and drawing things kind of skinnier and that kind of thing can be challenging as well. Um, so that's another aspect in this drawing um, I am dealing with um, as well. Trying to fit everything in um, with it being kind of smallish compared to if i was to just draw something like this um in my own kind of style it would yeah it would have bigger fatter body um so you know there's always fun to to tackle these little little things little um you know things i guess that i don't necessarily paint or draw like this you know kind of a thing it's, takes me away and um, helps me in the, in the future draw more interesting dragons um but yeah at the moment i'm doing these 90 minute art challenges talking about them i've talked about a few topics here and there um and yeah i'm, I'm busy at the moment doing quite a, a one piece that is just taking me so long but other than that, I'm doing these 9 minute art challenges as well, and they are quite fun to do. Um, I'm not sure, I think I've got a cat one coming along, so that'll be cool to see. Um, and I, I'm probably looking to doing some more dragons as well, or some mythical creatures possibly. Um, and having some fun with that. This was, you know... From here, from getting the silhouette, you would have seen me kind of paint a silhouette and then paint bucket, or draw the silhouette and paint bucket it in to, to make that silhouette and then um, kind of use the wand tool to select around the outside and fill in some colour, or just put paint in a green, and then from there kind of fixed up the, the shape um, a little bit better, 
I still don't think it's as accurate <laughs> as it could be, but you know, within 90 minutes, um, there's only so much I can do. Um, probably could take this further if I wanted to, but you know, I think I've gotten out what I wanted out of it for now, um, and just use it in another piece or something, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got it here. And yeah, just adding in the tones from here once I've got that green in. Now it's just, you know, making those separations in kind of his underbody belly and under his chin, that kind of area. You know, differentiating them. Um, adding in his uh, kind of finger wing parts um, that go in his wings for his wing structure. Um, and fixing up his wings, I was trying to, uh, I spent a bit of time trying to get those wings right, I still don't think I have gotten them, um, the right size and the right proportions and the lengths and, and things ain't 100% accurate, um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> within 90 minutes these things, um, don't always, you know, come to plan, um, some of these things you work on, um, but yeah, I would focus on, try and focus more on the overall drawing the best I can, um, I decided just to not worry about the background at all, um, usually I like quickly dash in because I, um, dash in the background or something, but I decided just to try and try and keep myself focused on this one character in the scene. Don't worry about any of the background or anything like that. Just focus on the scene. Um, so that, you know, I could get the thing I'm focusing on the best I can. Rather than, like, focusing on so many little things. And not having much... Basically, you know, having a little bit of a background and a little bit of this dragon character, um, but overall not having anything that great, you know, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying me painting this dragon. Um, I have painted quite a few different dragons on this channel um, in the past and um, hopefully in the future too. Um, and yeah, I look forward to, to creating some more mythical creatures. It's always fun to, to create creatures and animals and characters. Um, yeah, so, and pixabay.com, it's an awesome, awesome website that, you know, I use to, to find some imagery that is free to use. I use it for these 90 minute art challenges, I usually pick something to, to draw and paint. You can search things up, so if you're looking for dragons, you can find them. Obviously being um, kind of copyright free, there's only so many dragon images. Because, you know, um, this is obviously not like Smog um, from The Hobbit or the... Um, dragon from you know lord of the uh, lord of the rings harry potter or, or something like that you know um there's only some people creating so there's some 3d ones and some images like this you know but there isn't any kind of um well-known dragon images on there i mean you're perfectly fine to go on google and use that too to find images like this and dragons I was thinking of doing um, a painting or drawing, a, a repainting a painting from um, the past or painting someone else's dragon paintings, um, like a master study, possibly of one of uh, some awesome artists that draw dragons that I've, you know, known in the past and everything, so yeah, that'd be fun. Um, but these 90 minute art challenges do help me a lot to, to expand and 
um, grow and just uh, do something different from just drawing what I'm working on. Like at the moment, I've just got one painting I'm working on. Um, so just doing something different as well does, you know, help keep things going. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. You, yeah, feel free to like, share, subscribe if you um, are a fan of this channel or what I've just painted. Hopefully you've learned something new. Keep drawing, keep creating, and see you in the next video.